In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a, a really common problem in Excel. And obviously, anytime your spreadsheet is bigger than what fits on screen, when you scroll down, you lose your column headings, you scroll across, you lose your row headings. A simple solution to that is this feature right here called Freeze Panes. And so if you, wherever you put your cursor, um, we can freeze the rows above it and the columns to the left of it. So we're going to go right there to get all of our headings. We go to Freeze Panes and Freeze Panes. We'll talk about the other options in just a second. So we'll click Freeze Panes. And now when we scroll down, we keep our headings across the top. And we keep our row headings too. You can clear it just by going back and doing Unfreeze Panes. And so you can see you've got two other options. So you've got a Freeze Top Row, which does exactly what it says. And you also have freeze first column, which also does exactly what it says. But you'll notice when I did that, it undid the freeze top row. So if you want to have both um, columns and rows frozen, you've got to use just the basic freeze panes. It's also uh, good to know that these, um, all three versions of this command work um, relative to where you are right now. In this case here, we can make that work to our advantage because we don't need all that report heading up here. We just want our column headings to stay visible. That'll give us more viewable space. And uh, now when I go up to freeze panes, it just leaves that up there. It would work the same way if I did freeze top row or the freeze first columns. It's relative to wherever you are on the spreadsheet at the time you tell it to freeze the panes. So that's it. Couldn't be much easier than that, um, but solves a really big problem.